Okay, so I'm going to do a quick update on how I've been using the Winkier USB. And if you don't know it, this is a kit you put together very easy. I did a video on how to put this together. Uh, what it is, you have this key going into the paddle port, and then you have this going into your computer by, via USB. Now, uh, once the drivers are all set up, you can go into this program. Well, there's several programs. There's these WK3 tools and demo that allow you to change the settings on here, which I'm not talking about that today. We're talking about Iambic Master, and this program is like a game. And I'm going to go into the screen here in a second and show you how that works, but for now, uh, I'll just tell you that what you can do with this is uh, once you plug it in and the drivers are all set up, but you have to pick your COM port, and then you will see this screen. Once you pick your COM port, which happens to be COM3, you will see your WinCare screen, and you will be able to use this program. So, back to the machine. So what we've got here is key, key paddle, and then you don't even need the, com the computer, but I have it set up now for practice. So, now when I, I key into here, it goes on to my... Iambic Master. It's very good at knowing the spacing. See, I was putting those CQs too close together, so... You pick your speed, which I'm at 19, put in your call sign, hit display, and then this is the amount of times it's going to test you. You get 10, 25, or 50, and I'll leave that at 10. I'm not sure what sprint mode is, but once you hit start, it gives you something to tap out, something to code. So here we have WZU0, and I'm going to start coding. Here we go. Now notice how you have to be, what, what has to happen is it has to be perfectly spaced in between the letters, and it has to be pretty much perfect. If you rush it too much, if there's not quite enough space here or in between here, it will fail and you have to start all over again from the beginning. Now you can pause in between words like I'm doing right now. But I'm here at the third word, 293. And let's see if we can get all the way through this. If I fail at anything, you have to start all over from the beginning. Here we go, 293. Okay, so I got that one perfect. And notice my score here says perfect, 100%. Um, this is a uh, trial. This is number two out of 10. Now I've got 10 more, uh, uh, nine more to go. Um, you're guaranteed to make a mistake and I'll show you here in a second what happens if you rush or make a mistake. Okay, notice that I paused a little bit too long in the Doug word. Just a little too long, and it has a space here. Now you failed because this is not perfect. You have to start all over from the beginning in 6AA. Ugh. So I accidentally screwed up the 6. Guess what? you got to start all over again. Okay, so I don't want to sit here and keep on coding. That's kind of boring to watch. But what I'm going to say is it teaches you spacing. It teaches you um, because if you do this over and over, which I, I kind of play with this, it's like a game to me. So if you do this and you mess up, mess up any spacing, and what ends up happening also is your numbers start to get really good because I find it difficult to do the numbers when you have to tap out a certain number of, the, of them. Let's, let's take three, for example. If you hold it a little too long, you will hit a four or a two. For a three, that sounds like this. It's very good at teaching you how to do that because you have to get it perfect. So if you, uh, a three and say a four is kind of hard too. So if you were to go, oops, that's not a four. It teaches your timing of your hand. It teaches you when to let up. And I've noticed I've gotten a lot better at my numbers. And, and my letters too, of course. But you end up 
uh, doing this game, it bo it's both fun and it also teaches you how to tap out. And it also gets you really familiar with the letters. They just start to come naturally, you know. I almost, my mind even starts to wander sometimes and I still am doing it. And, I, and that's when I know I'm pretty good. Anyway, just wanted to show you this. Um, I'm going to finish up. Uh, I'm going to finish up and do a couple of these and see what happens. I'm going to start all over and let's just see what happens. That last two M's, I almost ran them together too fast. D, 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 D. I almost ran them together, and if I had done that, it would have ruined the entire thing. Now I'm at 100%, a score of 380. Let's see if I can get through this. Now, after a word, you can take a break. It's only during the middle of the word, the letters that are together, that you can't take a break or stop or pause or hes hesitate. So we got one, two, five now. I did that one perfect too. It's very unusual. Let's oh, see, I just hit my key, and it automatically I've messed up because it. I tried to hit an E because I accidentally hit my key, and I got to start all over again. So we'll start with a W. See, I messed up. I ran the last two letters together, and it hits a pound sign. That means you messed up. You got to start all over again. Okay. Now, what you also can do in this game is, uh, and I've never done this, is not display your the letters that you've picked. So let's try that. If I hit start, now I don't know what I've done. I have to go all the way through it without seeing what I've done. See, I don't know if I made a mistake yet. You have to, you have to go to the the end to see. There's my name, that's easy to tap out. See, now I made a mistake, I have to start all over again. But I'm not gonna do that for you. I'm just showing you Yambic Master, it's a simple project, simple game.